To sustain our current lifestyle, we must use energy. The main sources which we currently get our energy from, however, oil and coal, are neither clean nor indefinite in supply. Active solar energy, which we will explore in this video, is both of these. Active solar energy is energy from captured sunlight converted into usable light and heat for current or future use. Also, it causes air movement for ventilation or cooling. Active solar uses electrical fans or mechanical equipment, such as pumps and fans, to increase the usable heat in a system. Solar energy collection and utilization systems that do not use external energy, like so a solar chimney, are classified as passive solar technologies. In this picture, the solar panel is an example of active solar, and the greenhouse is an example of passive solar. This technology gets us closer to a zero-impact world because active solar is a clean form of energy. Also, installing one megawatt of solar power provides nine times more jobs than installing one megawatt of coal. In short, active solar boosts the state of our economy. Solar energy collection and utilization systems that do not use external energy, like a solar chimney, are classified as passive solar technologies. Usually hot water is produced by heating the cold water to the required temperature with a gas or oil-fired boiler, or an electric immersion heater. By slightly modifying this conventional method, solar collectors can be introduced to the system. Solar collectors are securely attached to some convenient part of the house so that they face south towards the sun and are tilted from the horizontal between 10 and 60 degrees. The aforementioned technology can be used to produce 40 to 80 percent of the energy for heating homes and is most efficient when producing 50 percent. Solar panels generate 10 watts per square foot. This means that in 24 hours, 100 square feet of solar panels would provide all the energy to power the entire house for the day. This, however, brings us to the affordability of solar panels. To this new technology is its high installation costs. In the long run, though, the expenses will pay for themselves through saved energy costs. While the cost range in North Carolina is $35,000 to $45,000 for a 5 kilowatt system and about $56,000 to $72,000 for an 8 kilowatt system, some companies offer subsidized incentives of up to 50%. Active solar power is currently used in North Carolina as it provides a near ideal climate for this type of energy collection. North Carolina could install enough solar panels to supply 2% of the state's projected electricity use by 2020. North Carolina's solar panel energy production could increase from 4.7 megawatts to over 30 megawatts by the end of 2010. At the moment, solar power accounts for less than a hundredth of a percent of the world's energy. Conservative projections show an increase to only 2% of the world's energy use. But if certain key leaders follow energy roadmaps, solar energy could account for 20 to 25 percent of the world's energy consumption. Active solar energy gives us many exciting alternatives to current non-environmentally friendly fuels because it provides greater returns with fewer consequences. Families who went solar cut their monthly energy bill by an average of 50 percent, which for an average family means savings of $700 per year. If you can't go solar for the environment, do it for your wallet. Above is a map of the solar panels needed to power the world. Impressive, right? The problem is that we view the environment as someone else's responsibility. But we must instead realize that we have the power to solve this problem with the use of active solar energy by making small, persistent changes. A great Roman philosopher once said, Dripping water hollows out a stone, not through force, but through persistence. The energy choices we make today will greatly affect our future generations. I'm like the rain in a downpour. I wash away what you long for.